Well, Harry and Meghan have got oh, a new website. The day I've been waiting Ooh, for. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba, ba -ba. Uh, they've managed to buy the URL Sussex.com. I wonder who's there. There it is. And they've had to snatch off to get a hold of that. Subtle and understated. Uh, it's been called the height of gaucheness and vulgarity, and they're using their royal titles, which I do believe they agreed not to do. Uh, and this is supposed to be your one-stop shop for everything you need to know about the grease, gruesome twosome. I'll tell you what I need to know about Harry and Meghan, the square root of damn all. But right, uh, yeah. So I won't be visiting this website, but it is being <laughs> seen as a recalibration of their commercial efforts in oh. Hollywood, which aren't going too well. So the, the, what's interesting is the Queen herself banned the couple from using Sussex Royal after they stepped away from world duty four years ago and ordered them to mothball it in January 2020 in that sort of Megxit settlement. Mm. And so, look, the Queen's, you know, been uh, passed away, sadly gone, for just over a year. And they're like, right, with the Queen out the way, let's just uh, resurrect all of this sort of plan to cash in on our royal names because they can't get proper work. They don't want to do proper work. They say get they're job. leading in <laughs> philanthropy and, you know, turn up, show up and do good or something. It's just like, no, just go away. You don't do good. You just do bad. Go away. Get a proper job, exactly. like you said. They, they, they Plenty of supermarkets as... in California with shelves that need stacking. Yeah. Roll your they, descri up. they describe themselves as uh, philanthropists, environmentalists. I don't notice any of that. Desperate money seekers, I would suggest. Uh, still with the royals. Uh, check, let's just play this. Uh, right. This is the very first trailer uh, from the Netflix film Scoop, which is about uh, Prince Andrew's disaster when he gave that in now notorious interview to Newsnight. Uh, let's have a look. This is the story. The only story. I want it for us. Thursday, 2 p.m., the palace. Two chairs in the middle of the floor, six feet apart. This looks really, really good. Uh, it's based, of course, on Sam McAllister's book. She was the researcher, the producer, who did all the work, who actually secured this interview. And I love this at the end, when uh, that's Gillian Anderson and Rufus Shaw. Look at them, their eyes just meeting. And the interview is Your about Royal to begin. Highness. There he goes. <laughs> Your Royal Highness. Well, Netflix. And that, that, for Andrew, was the beginning of the end. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I mean, Netflix are really cashing in on everything royal, aren't they? Good that that them. is, I mean, you know, they'll be the first ones on Sussex.com. <laughs> what information they can get to make their next sort of biopic or telltale or hagiography or scandal or whatever it is. Um, but, yeah. yeah, no, that is coming out that comes soon. In I'm the, sure half the world's going to watch it. comes up to, uh, on Friday the 5th of April, so watch out for that. I shall certainly be watching that.